Good morning again. Well, this is my second attempt at this uh, this YouTube video because I've got a habit of sort of pushing the button and stopping it sort of before it should be, be finished. Anyway, so this morning's thoughts uh, revolved around uh, things that people do to themselves when they need not do these things. I, I was speaking, I was thinking rather specifically about people like Robin Williams, uh, Anthony Bourdain. In fact, I found the Robin Williams uh, CD, I'll just kick something on the floor, uh, CD about a month ago and I was playing it in the car and it was one of those um, uh, shows of his and of course you're in the car you can only hear it because you're driving and so the, the video itself you can't see but my mate with me, he said, well, who's that? I said, well, that's Robin Williams. He said, he's very, he's a very funny man. I said, yeah, I mean, it's a shame he had to kill himself. He went, kill himself? Why would he kill himself? He's famous. He's got money. He's got everything he wants. He can travel the world. He's, I said, well, perhaps he was depressed. I mean, something happened. How can he be depressed? Which is a good point, really, because there's very many, many, many very poor people that aren't depressed. And there's equally many, many and probably more people that are very rich that are always depressed. I mean, look at Anthony Bourdain. Imagine that. He's on the TV. He's traveling the world. He's meeting extraordinary people. He's eating the most amazing and cooking the most incredible foods. He sat with Obama. I mean, give me a break. What would he do? Oh, I know. I'll kill myself. But he did have a, a history of drugs, of depression, of all this stuff. But he was lucky to come through that as you could be lucky to come through whatever you're doing but you have to do it lying awake cannot sleep tearful eyes quietly weep gently coughing clearing throat fear upon you you're almost broke were you ill did someone die perhaps a pain behind your eye what's the problem why so down seems fear alone made you drown Anthony Bourdain achieved his goal, switched his life from earth to soul, fearlessly taking his last leap, succumbing to something he couldn't reap. Come on, my friend, things aren't that bad. Life's a challenge, can drive you mad, but fear itself is for fear alone. Heaven's scent is a sweet cologne. That was my thought, anyway. I mean, you're dead a very, very, very long time. So why, why exit before you need to? I mean, let's face it. I mean, there's all these illnesses, this pollution, these G, G, GM food things. I mean, vaccinations, all sorts of crap going on. But at the end of the day, I mean, why leave early? I mean, would you, would you, would you stop your rental of of a Ferrari two days early or you know would you stop eating a fantastic meal halfway through you know life is for living unless it's taken by way of accident or something like that I mean if you're famous I mean can you imagine how shitty that must be to lose your life when you're at the top of a tree your bag sir please check in Take a seat, let's begin. Grand reception, oak and teak, strutting past an Arab chic. Suite 133, penthouse floor, elderly elevator built pre-war, short attendant, cheeky grin, proudly wearing a hotel pin. Living history, lots of stars, mentioned in Coco's memoirs, glamour, fashion, full of glitz. The paparazzi's nemesis, the hotel ritz so sometimes it's not your choice so if i were you i'd choose to live good morning and thanks and subscribe if you can and love the hat cheers